Mr. Holmes, I have great news. Our recent accomplishments have earned me a promotion. Sergeant Stark. It has a nice ring to it, hasn't it? Please accept my congratulations, Sergeant. Your part in solving those cases was invaluable. Come, come, Mr. Holmes. Your part was just as important. Not without my guidance, of course, but you did an excellent job. Anyway, I'll be moving back to the office space. My days at this blasted desk are almost over. I won't be scapegoated now. Good for you, I suppose. Uh, speaking of scapegoats, I've solved the last case on the board. The goat was stolen by the lady in the blackbird mask. As if that makes any difference, judging by the atrocity I witnessed at the crime scene. Yes, I heard about that one. The things women get up to these days. Ugh. Well, I'm glad to have been of service. Now I have other matters to attend to. Uh, Mr Holmes, if I may be so bold as to make one last request. Do you remember that I told you that our Chief Inspector has been missing for a few months now? My current task is to establish his fate. I've tried to make sense of his last case, but it's a convoluted mess. I would really appreciate your help. Fine. You have me intrigued. Thank you awfully, Mr Holmes. Tell me everything you know. Well, I don't know much. Just that it's connected to a gang called the Hive. Placido has been after their leader, the Hive Master, for years. But otherwise, I can't make head nor tail of it. Here, take the key to Placido's office. You might find some leads in there. So is it Chief Inspector Placido who has vanished? From what I've gathered, he was a good detective. Ain't that the truth? He was solving cases like shelling peas. Without him, things have gone downhill. He was a crotchety sort, always grumbling, fussing, taking his snuff by the handful, but I, for one, miss the old boy. Very well. I'll see what I can find out. One thing is certain. It's a dangerous business. Be careful, Mr Holmes. Hive master. Crime lords just love catching monikers. The files are gone, that's odd. This must have been an award for long and faithful service. A box of snuff, strong stuff. That is odd, to say the least. Let's take the ear, Sherry. It'll bring us luck. You'll see. Good Lord, you can't be serious. Nice. Always play it by ear, pal.
here and out on high point. Hey, I'm coming for this you. This is hive territory. No, you Shoot killed him. Time to. I thought we were against murder. Hey, you could have kept him alive. No, you. Hey, you could have kept him alive. I thought we were against murder. You can overcome. No, you killed him. Take this. Hey, you could have kept him alive. What a convenient way to pull the wool over the eyes of the customs house. Hmm. Everything knits together. Someone's been burning papers, I see. Get off me! Sherry, don't even think about breeding these nasty things. Sir, I'm looking for a man who goes by the name of Hive Master. Uh-huh. Chief Inspector Placido. And what makes you think that? Why, your missing ear, amongst other things. You need a larger hat. I've been investigating your last case on behalf of Sergeant Stark, and now I think I understand what happened to the Hive Master. Humor me. You killed him, didn't you? Huh. You're sharp, son. I'll give you that. But why? Everyone deserves a trial. Wasn't my choice. He and his thugs attacked me when I went to arrest them. It was a kill or be killed kind of situation. Turned out for the best, though. With his cronies dead, not a soul knows what the Hive Master looks like. His own gang 
scared stiff of him. So you assumed his place to dismantle this criminal enterprise from within? Damn right I did. And after I'm done, I'm not planning to go back. I've had enough of this rotten nest of corruption. But it just won't leave me alone, will it? First, they dismiss my retirement requests, and now they send a sleuth after me. It's not like that. I tell you what it's like, son. This is not the first case you've worked on for Stark, eh? Huh? That amateur promoted to a sergeant for his merits? I don't think so. You're not an officer. But from what I can see, you are much brighter than the lot of them. So what's your stake in this? You some sort of consulting detective? Hmm, yes. I suppose you could call me that. My name is Sherlock Holmes, at your service. Then do me a service, Mr. Holmes. Drop this case and don't tell anyone you saw me here. Let me enjoy my retirement in peace. I'll consider your request, sir. By the way, I must talk to Sergeant Stark. Tell him I died a hero, or a coward, I don't care. As long as they leave me alone. Any news, Mr. Holmes? Chief Inspector Placido can be presumed dead. I was unable to find his body, but the evidence is unequivocal. He's gone. I suppose I expected as much, but still it doesn't make it any easier. Placido was a good man. You would have liked him if you'd met him. Yes, it's, uh, it's a pity. I'm sure I would. In any case, no matter how bad, the truth is better than uncertainty. Please, take this as a token of gratitude. You've done us all a great service. Thanks again for your help. Good luck, Mr. Holmes. The man deserves to be left alone. <laughs> <laughs>